Welcome folks, this is a special video, this one. This is talking about classic car finance. Now you might know I buy a lot of cars that I can't really afford on that day. And what I do when that happens, if I find a car I fall in love with, I ring my friend Kurt from Fast and Funded. Kurt, you've funded some of my cars, haven't you, over the years? Yeah, I normally get that call on a, um, a Saturday morning. Kurt, I've seen this on Auto Trader. Um, how can you make it worth a 500 quid a month? And I work my magic and where you go. And that's and it. it. And that's it. And that's how it happens. <laughs> and that's how you get a car that you can't really afford for maybe a year or two down the line. And you can get to drive it and enjoy it today. Now, the advantages of financing a classic car, because of course, classic cars can go up. And what I've found often in the past is sometimes I've bought a car for an amount of money, I've financed it for three or four years. And actually, by the time I've paid the finance off four years down the road, the car has gone up by at least the interest charges and sometimes a little bit more. So it can be quite financially sensible, can't yeah. it? I mean, financing a classic car is exactly the same as financing any old car that you do. Um, but hopefully, um, and more often than not, the car that you're buying, because it's a classic, will appreciate yeah. rather than depreciate. Um, I mean, taking this one, I've uh, just run some numbers for myself, actually. So I'm thinking this car is going to fetch something like 55,000. Yeah. Um, a lot of car. Um, my view is these things are only going to go one way. I mean, I've seen examples of this fetch six figures. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I've worked myself some figures. Third deposit um, with a balloon payment, because we can do balloon payments on classic cars as well. Um, and this is coming out about £650 a month. Which is a match, you can be yeah. smoking around in a very, very lovely three-door Cosworth for not far dissimilar to a, like a modern car lease payment, but that car's appreciating, whereas a lease car, you're basically just bombing money into a hole. Yeah, and you keep looking after it and, and making sure it, it's, um, it's, it's maintained and show it the love, it will appreciate. You know, and so those interest charges that it will, you know, all finance. Because it, it'd, it'd be five figures of interest over four years, won't it? It will be, yeah. yeah. But you'd hope over four years it would actually appreciate that. And if it doesn't quite do that, you've had the fun of it. You've had four years of <laughs> the Absolutely, yeah. So Here's a question. Say I've, I've looked at an auction catalogue, I've got a little bit of a run-up. I've yeah. seen a car I really want to bid on. Yeah. Say this one in perhaps a few weeks' time. Can I put a credit line in place so I can go and bid on an auction when I don't have the cash to do it? Of course you can, yeah. So as long as we've got enough time beforehand, so the auction house will have already appraised the car. So we normally work on the top value with all the all the fees on this, that, this, that and the other. We'll let you know what deposit you've got to put in. Um, if the car's of the right type, we can put a bloom payment on that. So all we need, name, address, date of birth, um, your employment details, make sure you can um, service a facility and we'll have an answer for you. In, 24, 48 hours. Then so you can bid, put your hand up knowing if the hammer falls in your favour, you've got the wherewithal to back that up and pay your bill, because that's very important. Never bid on a car Absolutely. you can't afford to pay for, because it's legally binding. Here's another question. So if it's something really saucy, we've got in this next Alec Manor Parker, really top yep. end Ferrari, stuff that will attract a really sensible balloon. Can you do, like with a house, can you do an interest only classic car finance? So you just pay yeah, you can. So what we do, we use a balloon payment. Yeah. So um, like, like a PCP, or it hasn't got a guaranteed future value, but it's a balloon payment. So let's take something like, um, I don't know, this car again. Yeah. So let's take this, uh, uh, it's 55,000 pounds. So let's say um, I put 25,000 pounds deposit in. Yeah. So I need to find 30,000 pounds. Now I know this car's going to be worth £30,000 all oh, day long. Forever. <laughs> so I can defer that 30, yeah. make it interest only. Does that make sense? It does, like an interest only mortgage. Exactly, yeah. exactly that. So at the end of the period, you'll owe the balloon and the balloon only. And the good thing about that, if you, if you want to keep it, you can refinance that and go again. But I guess that brings the monthly payments down to sort of really sensible figures, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, I think, I mean, I've done some pigeon maths. I think there's not a car um, that you can't get into for three or £400 a month of this sort of value. Talking my language, talking my language. Yeah. And here's another thing, and I've done this before and you've helped me with this. So for instance, I've seen a car I really want to buy or a car I want to restore that's going to cost me some money. I have cars in my collection that I own yep. outright. I can refinance those cars, can't I, and use that money to either go and buy another car or restore another car. I know exactly what you mean and I know about your collection of cars too. <laughs> yeah, so if you've got cars that are paid for, just evidence that they, they are yours. Yeah. Um, yeah, and we can release equity in those cars for you to do whatever you wish with that cash. Go on holiday if you want to go. Red or black? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Renovate a car, whatever you want to do. So there you go. If you find a car in any auction, but particularly at Manor Park Classics, and you're thinking, I'd like that, I can't quite afford it, go and see our friends, fastandfunded.co.uk. It's what I do when I can't afford a car. I bought my 997 that way, didn't I? Yeah. 
No shame in finance, it's how clever people get a car that they could afford today, and as it goes up, covers your interest charges, sometimes a little bit more, but as Kurt says, the main thing is you have the fun of the car the entire time you're paying, so don't delay, get one today. But you've missed something. Go on. You've missed something. Even for this sale, mm. if you've got the money to buy the car on the day, yeah. you've already sought it, and afterwards you decide, I prefer to finance it, come to us. So many options, there you go. Yeah. The world is literally your oyster.